<clears throat> okay, I've been asked a great question. Here's a guy, he's bought a Jackaroo diesel, um, a Nisuzu Trooper, if you're elsewhere in the world. And it started blowing white smoke and running rough, and uh, he took the radiator off, and there was bubbles in the radiator while it was running, and then it stopped running altogether. So he took it to a mechanic, and the mechanic said, it's got a cracked head, you've got to have a new head, $5,000, okay? So he asked me this straightforward question. How can you tell whether you've got a cracked head or blown head gasket, perhaps, or if it's simply injector sleeve seals that are gone? Now, the fact is that these faults, cracked head, blown head gasket, and injector sleeve seal failure, all have exactly the same symptoms. So how do you tell the difference? Well, there's only one sure way. You take the rocker cover off, you take the oil roll off, and you take the injectors out. Now, if you've got the Huey injector in your hand, you get all four of them out, right? On the bottom of the Huey injector, there is a copper gasket, as soon as you call it, a copper washer, we would call it in the real world. And that is what seals the combustion pressure from coming into the injector body. Now, if you look above the where that copper washer is and you see carbon on the injector, I'm going to cut away to a still here to show you what that looks like. Cut, cut. Okay. If you see carbon on the base of the injector, then the problem is not a head. It's not a head gasket. The problem is the injector sleeve seals. Because the only way that carbon can be on the bottom of that injector, if they're not spotlessly clean, that means that the copper washer has failed and now combustion gases are coming up into the injector body. Now you've got to understand that when the piston is firing at the top of its stroke, the gas that's coming through is coming through at about 2,500 pounds a square inch. And the temperature of it is around about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So you remember that figure, 2,500. Now the O-rings on the injector and also on the slit behind the sleeve seal that it sits in are designed to hold back the pressure of the fuel in the head, the fuel rail. So what the, the just the little fuel pump provides and also the coolant is running at around about 30 to 40 psi. They're both running at about 30, 40 psi because it's only the pressure of what the, the fuel pump on the front of the engine is providing. Okay, so the O-rings were designed to hold back 30 to 40 psi. Okay, and then, but then now you've got two and a half thousand psi coming through. Bam! Goes straight past those O-rings. There's no way that they can hold back that kind of pressure. Now, you may not always see bubbles on the radiator. Sometimes you will. It varies a lot. You know, you'll see diesel in the coolant. You'll see diesel in the engine oil. You'll see coolant in the in the diesel fuel in your tank. You know, you get cross-contamination, all different types. And it depends where the O-rings fail, you know, and it varies a lot. It may be on one injector. It may be on four, all four. It doesn't matter if it's only on one injector. If one injector has got a sleeve, a sleeve seal failure, it'll affect the whole system. Okay, so that's how you tell. You've got to take the injectors out and look at the base of them. And if you see copper, uh, see if you see carbon above the copper uh, gasket, then it's not a head. It's not a head problem. You've got to replace the injector sleeve seals. Okay. Thanks.